Hello everybody, this is Drinking I'm back to kick off round three for Group F. Oof, <laughs> done a marathon today, I've recorded Group C, Group D, Group E, and now I'm doing Group F. So yes, at first we will see Jonas Chu going up against Diddy Darius, Dino Hug taking on Dino Nerd, and then Ratchet going up against Arctic Warriors. Ooh, Group F looking a feisty, competi feisty competitive group here. Diddy Darius going up against Jonas Chu at first. Well, this could be a big game here because if Diddy Darius can secure the win, I would probably say that secures a passage to the last 32. But anyway, up first for Jonas Chu in the red corner, we have Stegosaurus. Jonas Chu bouncing back from an opening round defeat, getting a crucial win in round two. As for Diddy Darius in the blue corner, we have a Gigant Spinosaurus. Diddy Darius. Oh, been one of my one of my dark horses in this tournament, Diddy Darius. Really like the team, really like the moveset. And um, it's it's working so far. So far so good. Diddy Darius looking pretty strong. And as I said, a dark horse in this tournament possibly. Actually, before this before the start of the tournament, he was he was my one of my dark horses. But anyway, Diddy Darius getting off to a good start there with the opening hit. Defense boost coming in handy there. Rock Roller will be triggered as well. Oh, don't do this, random number generator. <sighs> Give me a sec. Alright, we're back. Ooh, we're back with a tie. Quake Saber will be triggered from the stag. Ooh, another tie. Jonas Chu yet to get off a hit. Oh, well, um, spoke too soon there. Jonas Chu getting off the, his first hit of this match, and it's a big one. Whoa, look at that. Big damage coming. Oh, what we got here? And an earth barrier to boot. Jonas Chu turning it around and now has the lead. That could be a big turn around there, but. Light recovery coming, defense boost coming, Gigant Spinosaurus getting the hit, but the Earth Barrier will limit the damage, of course. Here comes Light Recovery. Diddy Darius kind of recovering well from that Quake Saber. Ooh, it's another time. These Stegosaurs are quite even so far, evenly matched. But is Jonas Chu getting off the hit? And taking the lead. Right, here comes another blast from, well, here comes another powerhouse from Diddy Darius. It's a Magasaurus, and well, we saw what this thing can do. We definitely seen what this thing can do, especially when it's on low health. A crisis type Final Fury combo paying dividends. Paying off handsomely so far. Diddy Darius might need it again, though. Well, I, this might kill the stag, I'm not sure. No, it won't. The Magasaurus' power is all in the crit, so the stag just survived. Attack boost getting triggered there, though. Okay, yes, the Stegosaurus will not be surviving this. Diddy Darius evening things up. And as I said, it's been an even match so far. Although, that could change, because... Jonas Chu's second dino is Akosaurus. It'll have a tight disadvantage against the Amargosaurus. Which could be costly here, which could be key to swinging this matches. This match Diddy Darius' way. Well, this is gonna be tight, tough, isn't it? For... This is gonna be tough, isn't it, for um... Jonas? Although, the Mapusaurus does get the first hit, but yeah, look at that. Tight advantage of killer. And Mapusaurus' moves are all balanced. It really needs to get off crits. If anything, low health favours the Amargosaurus, because it could just one-shot away from Taba Cannon. Well, so far, the Amargosaurus not getting off any hits, but it is comfortable on low health. Ooh, it's going to be on low health after this crit. Look at this from Mapusaurus Jonas Chu impressing. 
However, here comes the final fury. This will do some damage, even though it's not a crit. Wow, look at that. Not even a crit, and it did all that. Impressive from the Amarga Swords. Does have the attack boost as well, mind. And yet, despite the Makusaurus' best efforts, Amargosaurus is going to give Diddy Darius a 2-1 lead. Okay then, as for Jonas Chu's third dino, it is Spinotector! Spinotector! Well, if Jonas Chu gets hit by that Futaba cannon, I feel like Diddy Darius could get a bonus point win here. So it's crucial that this Spinotector gets the next hit. Doesn't want the Amadosaurus to land too much damage, because it is, as I said, it's on low health, and it's Crisis type, and it's got Final Fury, and it's boosted up with Attack Boost. So we'll basically do a crap ton of damage, and oh my god, if this is a six. Oh, 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 oh dear. Oh dear. This might actually be a one-shot. Oh my god, it killed it! <laughs> do not mess with a Margosaurus. Oh my god, it, kill it killed it with a Futaba Cannon! Well, it, it, double attack boost, maxed attack boost, crisis type, Futaba Cannon, and the final fury. Diddy Darius, a bonus point win, holding on to that Futaba Cannon until the time was right. Oh my goodness gracious me. <laughs> that was a Dino Tech, the Dino. It just got shredded. By Futaba Cannon, Amargosaurus is OP. Needs a nerf. <laughs> wow, well, Diddy Darius, I called it, being a dark horse in this tournament, and you've just seen why. What a win. As for Jonas Chu, well, they, they put it simply, they just got unlucky with the Futaba Cannon. It was, it was an even match until that Futaba Cannon. So yeah, unlucky from Jonas Chu. But anyway, enough about that. On to our next matchup, which sees a clash of the dinos. Well, they're all clashes of the dinos, but this one is a proper clash of dinos because it's Dino Hug taking on Dino Nerd. Alrighty then, in the red corner for Dino Hug, we got a Desantorellus. <coughs> Dino Hug suffered their first defeat of the tournament last time out. Although it was against Diddy Darius. Although Dino Hug, despite not getting many hits, did put up a good fight. No, I'll give him props for that. In the blue corner for Dino Nerd, we have Giganonosaurus. Dino Nerd getting that come from behind victory against Arctic Warriors in the last round, which seemed to turn a bit ugly at the end. Ding, 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 ding. Ooh, this is going to be a clash. Of, this is going to be an intriguing match. If Dino Hug can get the win here, given the points deduction they have for being a naughty toddler, they'll be right back in this map, in this group. If Dino Nerd gets the win, then that thrusts them right near the top. So yeah, crucial match here. Di As I said, Dino Hug gets the win. It keeps that top. Keeps keeps the top three within touching distance. Oh, here comes the tie. Here comes the Sand Trap. Sand Trap. One of the best tie-based moves, in my opinion because it weakens your opponent during ties. And we get lots of ties in this tournament. <laughs> ties or favour the Desantra will receive even more now. Ooh, doesn't need it though. It's getting a hit anyway. This Giga's not in the best shape so far. If Barrier coming as well. Desantra Rurus looking really good. Dino Hug on top. And we'll be staying on top. Oh, it's Alpha Dark time, it's Alpha Dark time. What's that time? It's Alpha Dark time. Ah, oh, it's only the stuffed toy, but I think that was going to be enough to kill the Giga. Yeah. <laughs> it died to a teddy. Well, this will be interesting because for Dino Nerd's second Dino, it's Uluru Titan. 
has the type advantage over that Gisantoros, which Dino Nerd is going to need to get back in this match. And let's not forget, he's got Earth Barrier to get past as well. <laughs> let's not forget that. Dino Hug in a strong position so far to win this match. Ooh, it's a tie. Again, ties favour the Desantoros. It's Sand Trap again. Oh my god, this Desantra Rois is cleaning house. Look at this. But yeah, look at that. Type advantage is could get Dino Nerd back in this match. Just needs to get some hits on the board. And finally gets a hit, but again, the Earth Barrier is going to limit the damage. But at least he's got a hit on the board. Got two Super Dinosaurs to get through after this guy. Doesn't get easier, does it? Oh, decent amount of damage, even with the Earth Barrier. Hmm. Oh, it's a tie! Yeah, look at that. Look at how much damage the Ulura Titan took because of the sand trap. What a Badoosh. Dino Hug looking good for a 2-0 lead here. I don't think Earth Barrier is going to matter now. Look at this. It's Alpha Dark. Dino are going to have a 2-0 lead. Dino Nerd's going to have to do it the hard way again. Ah, it's a ball this time. Boosh. Well, um... Okay, as for Dino Nerd's third Dino, is a Therizinosaurus, a Super Therry. It definitely saw how effective this beast can be, and Dino Nerd's gonna have to come from behind again. Well, he's done it before, he can do it again. Even with the Earth Barrier, I think a hit from the Therry will finish off the Desantoros. Now, if the random number generator is fair, it should give Dino Nerd about six or seven hits in a row. He's tied. No sand trap, though. That could be crucial. Oh, for goodness sake, give Dino Nerd a hit. Like, what's the matter with you, random number generator? Hey, well, it's a tie, but and the Desantoros is finally dead. Okay, wake mode on 2 4. This Super Epistocela Cordia. Dino Hug still in a strong position to win this match, and probably will win this match. Because Dino Nerd is basically getting zero hits. <laughs> Based on the random number generator. Very getting the hit. Okay, that's once and that's twice. Oh, this could change everything. Although the Epistocela Claudia will be awakened next round if it survives. Oh, it survived for the skin of its teeth. Well, this is it, isn't it? Dino Nerd gets the hit. He's right back in this match. If Dino Hug gets the hit, it's game over. Oh, Dino! No, it's Di <laughs> Dino Star! <laughs> well, that's not the worst outcome for Dino Nerds. He did get the hit. Well, it's his turn to be awakened now. Oh, it's wasted, beast. It's a waste. Oh, what a waste, but, you know... At least Dino Nerd's coming back in this match. But yeah, it's completely wasted. <laughs> Ugh. Terrible, terrible. But anyway, as for Dino Hug's third Dino, it's Super Sign Raptor. Dino Hug might be getting a bit nervous here, because Dino Nerd has come but coming back into this match. Came from behind to defeat Arctic Warriors. Dino Nerd, can they do it again? Or can Dino Hug see it home? Okay, yeah, one hit from Dino Hug's gonna win it for them. 
but they can't get the hit! They just can't get it! Look at this! Dino Nerd giving himself a losing bonus point, at the very least. Three once more, you want the four free points? Oh, he's not getting it! Oh. Well, well, you can't say that the, 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 the Dino one didn't deserve that win. 2 0 down. Dino Nerd on the brink of coming from behind the win, but just ran out of steam, just ran out, ran out of energy in the end. Yeah, Dino are getting the win, but I think given the circumstances, I think Dino Nerd will be happy with a losing bonus. I think they can take a losing bonus point. You know, it's better than nothing. Because, well, at last, at one stage, it looked like Dino was going to win 3 0. <laughs> but nope, Dino Nerd coming back into it and securing a losing bonus point. And again, given how tight this group is, you never know how crucial that could be, but a massive win there for Dino Hug. All right, the end. On to our final match of this session, which sees Ratchet going up against Arctic Warriors. Alright then, in the red corner for Ratchet, we have a T-Rex. And if, if you want to know one thing about T-Rexes in this tournament, they like to sweep aside opposition teams. Will we see that in this matchup? Well, for Ratchet's sake, I hope so, and this T-Rex does have the death fire if it needs it. However, in the blue corner, for Arctic Warriors, it's an Alpha Kentrosaurus. This Alpha Kentro has the Earth Barrier, and the Earth Barrier can stop Deathfire from insta-killing you, so... Well, it doesn't really matter, I suppose, because you'll be left on a sliver of health. Next round will be a tie, because would be a tie because the Deathfire activates, so you'd die anyway. <laughs> Ugh. But, you know, is what it is. Ooh, we start with a tie. Oh, it's gonna be big. It's blazing spin attack. And yep, I think this is gonna do a arse ton of damage to that Kentrosaurus. Flippy flop. Oh, look at that. Big, big damage. Not a good start from Arctic Warriors. Okay, another tie. Could really do with a Quake Saber here. But he's not getting it. Instead, it's a fire cannon and no surprise at all. T-Rex gives Ratchet a 1-0 lead. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice a bit. I've been recording all morning. Because <laughs> last last week, I, I was doing a lot of um, Christmas shopping and I don't know. Buddy Christmas shopping in the first week of November. Way too early, way too early. I get why some people do it, because, you know, work and everything. Don't don't you find it more enjoyable to do it, like, in December, or the rush, the Christmas lights, the aura around it? It feels just better to do it December. But again, that's just my opinion. Well, back to this matchup, and it's Sorrow Faganax coming in here, getting the hit on the T-Rex. Ooh, but the T-Rex responds with a fire cannon. Ratchet looking strong so far. Ooh. Okay, well, T-Rex is done. Ratchet will have the lead and did land some damage on the Faganax, but Arctic Warriors not out of this yet. Yep, that's T-Rex dead and buried. And Arctic Warriors will have the type advantage over this Allosaurus. The Alpha Allosaurus, that is. So this could be a key moment of the match. Can Arctic Warriors gain the lead? That's a big hit from the Faganax. It's not a fire move though, so normal damage will be dealt. Oh, that's a tie. That will probably suit the Alpha Allo more, to be honest. Ooh, we got a ninja attack. 
this won't do that much damage, but, you know, damage is damage. Crash it again, the head. The burning dash being triggered as well, just noticed. Well, the Soul Fagonax one hit away from being defeated. Oh, but it's a burning dash! And this, I think, given Soro Faganax's high attack power, is going to finish off the Alpha Allo and give Arctic Warriors a 2-1 lead. Oh, it doesn't! It doesn't! Allosaurus surviving! Oh, well, not for long. A bit overkill, this, but, you know, gotta, get, gotta kill it somehow. Boosh! Right in the chest! Eviscerates the Allosaurus into nothing. Okay, as for Ratchet's third dino is Spinosaurus. I mean, the Sora Fagonax is going to die in one hit. So the type advantage here, well, it kind of does matter because you don't, you don't want the Sora Fagonax landing too much damage. So Ratchet really needs to get the next hit here to finish off the Sora Fagonax. Otherwise, Arctic Warriors could start to pull away. Yep, there it is. There's the crit from the Spino to finish off Soro Fagonax and even the score. Alright, as for Arctic Warriors, his third dino is the Might of Megaraptor. Kind of sucked last time against the Super Thary. Although it did get the crucial hit which delayed Arctic Warriors' defeat for another turn. Full tilt Megaraptor this. We'll, land, we'll do some major damage to our Spino if it gets the chance. Tie. Ooh, ties favor the Spino. I think it might be tie time. Ooh, but that favors the Mega Raptor. It's a biting win. He slice, he slice. Arctic Warriors getting the first blow there. Ooh, that's another tie. Another tie. Ties will favour Arctic Warriors here as they've just secured at least a losing bonus point. Ooh, but, or have they? Spino getting off a Hydro Cutter. This is going to do some big damage to the Mega Raptor. Oh, look at that, almost killed it. And I think has taken Spino's HP above half. Oh, no, never mind. Arctic Warriors has once again secured at least a losing bonus point with a biking win. And I think this Mega Raptor is counter type as well, so this is going to do some damage. Look at this. Ooh, but. But. Has that just swung the match in Arctic what in Ratchet's favour? The odds are in Ratchet's favour now. Oh, but the Mega Raptor! Get in the kit! Get in the kill! The Mayfly coming in, defeating the Spinosaurus, and giving Arctic Warriors their first win of the tournament. Well, it's not doom and gloom for Ratchet. They will get a losing bonus point. Well, that's a thrilling way to conclude round three for Group F. Let's look at the table, and then we will end the session. Well, well, Group the F is looking very, very competitive. Arctic Warriors getting off the mark there with their first win of the tournament. Diddy Darius getting the big bonus point win over Jonas Chu. And then Dino Hug getting a crucial win over Dino Nerd. But Dino Nerd and Ratchet did secure losing bonus points. But yeah, look at that. Okay, first things first. Diddy Darius is through. I don't think Diddy Darius is getting knocked out now. Look at that. Five points clear of second place Ratchet. Another win for Diddy Darius. And, well, they have yet to play Ratchet. But, yeah, another win for Diddy Darius, and they will top Group F. I th I think, yeah, that should be them through. There's six points clear of... Well, there's six points clear of Dino Nerd and Arctic Warriors. Dino Hug right in the mix. Finally getting out of the minus zone and into the pause plus zone with two points. And, well, they're definitely in the mix now, right? Like, you think about it, if a win for them could take them second. They could skyrocket to second place with a win. Really impressive from Dino Hug. 
But let's have a look at round four. So round four, we'll see Dino Hug taking on Ratchet. Could be a big match. Like a, a win for Dino Hug could thrust them into second. Arctic Warriors going up against Jonas Chu. Again, another massive game here. And then Dino Nerd taking on tabletop in Diddy Darius. Wow, I, I can't call Group F. I really can't call Group F. It's so tight. Like, the one certainty from this group is that Diddy Darius is going through. I'm pretty convinced that Diddy Darius will go through. But as for everyone else, it's up for grabs. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and ring the bell to make sure you don't miss out on future tournament videos. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.